This is your one and only FireSpark81 with your daily dose of video goodness and welcome back to another informational Valheim video. Today we're going to talk about sap and roots. Let's get to it. So I have seen that there has been some debate on whether or not you should put more than one extractor on these ancient roots in order to extract the sap from them. For those of you who do not know, the extractors and the sap are a very important part of your mislands progression. In order to craft an extractor, you're going to need a diverger extractor that you see here that lets you craft the sap extractor. Then what you want to do is you just put those anywhere on one of these roots and they will draw sap from the root. So in order to figure out exactly how these things work, I ran a few tests. So I found an area where there was a nice grouping of roots here. You can see I have one there, one there, and one over there. I started off by putting two extractors on this one, one extractor on this one, and one extractor on this one. Then I ran the sleep command, which fast forwards through an entire day in the game in order to speed up time and see how much sap I got from each of these roots. And I can tell you that every day that passes, you will extract 10 sap from a fully charged root. But note that it can only hold 10 sap, so you do need to clear them out daily. So I did, I went through and I cleared out all of the sap and I put it in a chest on each one of these and then I continued to pass the time until the sap was empty and the root was all dried up. So you can see here that on this root here with the two extractors, it dried up in three days and you can see I got a total of 50 sap. This root on the first go had one extractor on it, it dried up in five days, and of course that means we got 50 sap. Same thing over here, the first round dried up in five days, it only had one extractor on it, and we got 50 sap. So then after the root has dried up, you have to remove the extractor from it if you want it to refill quickly. If not, it will go down to only gaining about one sap per day, and the root itself will not start to recharge until the sap extractor is full and no longer drawing sap from it. So if you bust the extractor down and throw it in a chest and wait for the root to regenerate, generate all of its sap, it will take anywhere from seven to eight in-game days for it to fully recharge. So I did that and just passed the time. Once the roots were fully recharged, I swapped them around and I put one extractor on this one, I put two on this one, and I put two on this one. And I ended up only getting 40 from each of these. So this one only had one extractor on it, it dried up in four days, providing me with 40 sap. Coming over here to this one, it had two, it dried up in two days, and it provided me with 40 sap. Same thing with this one over here. Once again, this one had two on it this round, and it gave me 40 sap and dried up in two days. So because the amount of sap that I got from these when they were fully charged changed, that got me a little curious. So I found another route and I ran the test again with only one extractor on it. This one dried up in five days with one extractor on it and it got me a total of 50 sap. Then I come over here to another route and I tested it again with only one extractor on it. It dried up in four days and it gave me 40 sap. So this tells me that roots can start off with 50 sap in them, but after they initially dry up, they should, unless something really wonky is going on here, only produce 40 sap after that. So what all of this testing tells me is that you need to think of these roots as a tank of fluid, and each of them only has a certain amount of fluid in them, anywhere from 40 to 50 sap. After you empty all of the sap out of them, to get them to fill back up so you can drain the sap out of them again as quickly as possible, you need to break down the sap extractors you have on them. You should also put as many sap extractors on each individual root as you can afford to put on them and empty them as fast as possible and then take those extractors to another nearby root and do the same thing. And the reason for this is because of the root's cooldown time, the time that it takes it to refill. So the longer it takes you to drain all of the sap out of them means that it is going to take you even longer before it is full again. So your best bet is to empty it as fast as you possibly can so that you can wait the seven or eight days and then immediately empty it again. If you can get four or five extractors on a root, that is your ideal situation because that means that you can empty the root within a day and immediately have it go into cooldown. If you take all of the extractors off, of it and wait seven to 
to eight days. That essentially means that you can get 40 or 50 sap every seven or eight in-game days. So the TLDR here is more extractors are indeed better. Ideally, you want to get four of them on a route, tap it as quickly as possible, break down the extractors, toss them in a nearby chest, wait seven or eight days, rinse and repeat. That is going to allow you to maximize the amount of sap that you can get so that you can turn it into refined iter. All right, hopefully you found this video helpful. This was just a little short, sweet one today. If you did, consider hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be notified when I upload other videos. And I want to give a special shout out to Tiz Jester for his continued support over on the Kofi page. Thank you so much for that. And if you all are looking for additional Valheim content, you can find a link to another guide on the screen right now. I want to give an absolute massive shout out and thank you to all of my channel supporters for helping to keep these videos a sponsor free. You all are absolutely amazing people. If you would like to become an official channel supporter, check out the links in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you're shy, you don't like to comment, just hit that thumbs up button and share your support. Until next time, thanks for watching.